for allowing me to be up here one more time this opportunity and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get right into it and uh, if you have your Bible turn with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 2 G.R. Epistle reading the, the heart know and reason of all men Possible say you are make spectacle into the world, to the angel, to all men. I'd like to talk to you for a few moments on the subject. All eye on me. Turn to your neighbors, say you all eye on me. I'm not talking about the song. For those of you that are under 40, you are the church. You are the temple. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your grace, your goodness, and mercy this morning. God, have your way. Have your way, Jesus, in the service this morning. God, we need you. We need you. God, we can't do nothing without you today. God, we need your anointing. God, we need your grace. God, we need your power in the midst of us. God, have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Lord, Jesus. You may be seated. Amen. Now, according to the George Bonner survey, he say that uh, about 50% of uh, people are noisy when a stranger came up to him and shared his faith with him. When, when the same group they're willing to listen to the close friend and neighbor or trust or co-worker about their spiritual condition with them. And he go on to say that people don't necessarily want to hear you preach sermon or, or have you hear, uh, hand them a track or, or some kind of gospel. But they want you to see and to hear about what God is doing in, the, in their friend's life. People are concerned about the quality of life. They want a God who good for today, not just the hereafter. A God that can handle their need, their dream, the hurt, the disappointment, the failure, right now. The Bible says we are called to witness, to show what we have seen or know and experience. How God gives us hope and dream and, and joy or healing. Now, there's a story about the, uh, in John chapter 9, a story about the, the blind man from the bird. After he had been healed by Jesus, he witnessed to the Pharisee. See, Pharisee tried to trap him. He's like, uh, talking about the artist. He said, This man here is a sinner. And this, this blind man here says, like, He doesn't know anything like, too much about Jesus. All he knows is, I was blind, but now I see. See, one of the greatest challenges to the people of God in, in every generation is what to do about the rest of the world. Whether you're an Old Testament or New Testament saint, the problem's still the same. Jesus said, they that are whole not, need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinner to repent. So can I tell you this morning, you know, how many of you see the, uh, 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 the, the Ford commercial on the F-150? It kind of interests me up to now. Uh, I was looking at it slide, and this, the, the, this picture, that, uh, they show you how this powerful the, uh, the truck is and how they save the, uh, the gas, all kind of thing. And toward the end of the commercial, and the guy would say, we own work. You don't get what I'm saying here. We got the gift. We got the authority. We own this the, uh, how you put it, like, you know, we're able to just go out to the witness, to the, to the school, to the, co uh, to the workplace. We got to be able to, like, I know that we're talking about it's important days to come in on Sunday, inside this four wall. What about Monday, all the way through Saturday? That's a crucial. You, we don't know what people go through like, on, on between Monday and Saturday. We got to be able to, 
take Jesus to them. We, we got to be able to give God give us hope and dream and healing and miracle. See, when I, when I first came to the United Pentecostal Church here, it's kind of like, it's kind of amazing when they walk in here, but I didn't know anything about it when I, when I came here. So it's just something just different from my, uh, when, I was, when I sat inside the church and I just can't put the finger to it. I said, why are these people like start running around and, and shout and, and I mean, you just kind of run this lap after lap after lap. <laughs> Here I am, just the first time in the church. Don't know anything about the Christianity. I was kind of amazing that, that you know, that why well, just something in here so that you, I just can't put a finger to it. No, we, we talk about it, uh, the person of God all the time. God doesn't go anywhere. You feel all time and space. It depends if he manifests or unmanifests. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> See, if you till the ground, sow the seed, water the ground, clean up the weed. If we do our part, God will provide the rain and the sunshine. In the name of Jesus.